good morning. It's a new day. The Lord has woken us up. That means there's more for us to do. So it's time to rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. It is great to be with you this morning. <clears throat> so today, I want to talk to you about salty salt and bright light. During World War II, a dad was stationed in Hawaii for a while. Someone there once gave him some apples, but yuck! They had no taste at all. Yet he didn't want to throw them away, lest, well, the giver ask how he liked them. Finally, he solved the problem. He bought a bottle of apple butter to spread on them, and that's the only way he could stand them. Apples without flavor are like salt without saltiness. Do we ever seem like yuck to God and to people around us? Jesus says something, <clears throat> has something to say about this in the Sermon on the Mount we read in Matthew 5, or 5 13 through 14. You're the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It's no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. We are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. In these verses, in the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus calls his followers to a life of influence and impact. Being salt means adding flavor and preservation to the world around us and salt in Jesus times was <clears throat> highly valued both for enhancing food and for its preserving qualities similarly as Christians our lives should bring the flavor of God's love grace and truth into the world helping preserve it from moral decay and likewise being light means illuminating the path for others and shining with the hope of Christ for all to see. There was a captain sailing his ship. He notices a light in the distance on a collision course with his ship, and he turns on his signal lamp and sends the signal, change your course 10 degrees west, and the light signals back, change your course 10 degrees east. The captain gets a little annoyed and signals, I'm a U.S. Navy captain, you must change your course, sir. The light signals back, I'm a seaman first class, you must change your course, sir. Now the captain is mad and he signals back, I'm an, on an aircraft carrier, I'm not changing my course. And the light signals back, I'm a lighthouse, your call. <laughs> Lights have their purpose, just as a light placed on a hill draws attention, our lives are meant to point others to God. This requires living openly for him, being bold in our faith, sharing the gospel message to others, reflecting the love of Christ in a way that is clear and bold. When we serve, show compassion, stand for truth, we shine a light that guides others towards God's goodness and grace. And these verses remind us that our words and our actions can transform lives. We're called to live out our faith daily, boldly, so that others may see and glorify God as well. So I pray for courage for you to live as salt and light in a world that needs God's love. I pray that your influence would be positive and reflect the grace and truth of Jesus as well. And I pray that your heart shines with Christ's love, guiding others to him as well. So go and be salty salt and a bright light for Jesus today. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We thank you for your word. And Lord, this time together this morning, we, <clears throat> Lord, thank you that we are challenged by your word. Lord, may we be uh, open uh, to being changed and formed and guided by your word as well. Lord, may we go forth today being salty salt and 
a bright light. Lord, being a positive influence in this world and showing others Christ and Lord, sharing with others the gospel message of your Son, Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, help us now this day to go forth, Lord, being your hands and your feet to all those who come across our path today, shining our light brightly, brightly for you. Lord, we love you, thank you. We pray all these things through Jesus Christ our Lord and all God's children said, Amen and Amen. Folks, have a blessed day and coffee on.